Guys, this TNT barbecue with a southern is supposed to taste right here, guys. Uh, my camera person can come down and look at this right here. I have chicken, St. Louis style spare ribs, and I have black Angus beef ribs, okay? So what we're doing today for you guys is we're doing a test on my new smoker. So you want to come back here? So this is my new smoker, guys, okay? It's a direct cooker, okay? So uh, why don't you come on in here and look what we got going on. Right now, I got the charcoal getting ready to um, go on. And um, what I do is I get the charcoal going. It's a direct cooker. <coughs> I'm using charcoal and wood as my fuel source. Um, I, I, I like that taste of like um, when it sizzles and it hits the charcoal and the meat juices hit the charcoal. I like that flavor it creates. Um, I kind of miss that when I use my reverse flow smoker sometimes. So um, I, I, I had an opportunity to purchase this big old smoker here. You see, I got another top rack up here, see? And that's going away. And then I got one over here. Come over here. Come over here. I got this one over here that I haven't used just yet. This is just another, um, another rack right here. So I'm a camera person to... Look at the smokers. Here's another one. Another side of the smoker. For y'all to understand how big the smoker is. So, I'm leaning up. Both racks pull out. Right there, guys. So, um, I can get a quite a bit of barbecue on, those, on this smoker right here. My goal is to just see how it cooks with ribs and chicken. I, I know it does excellent with chicken. I just want to test it with the ribs to see how it cooks with the ribs. I have a trap door in the back so I can add wood and, and that type of fuel to the fire. So um, what we'll be doing is season this. Uh, I want to come over here with this season that. Shoot fly, shoot fly. I'm outside today because it's such a beautiful hot day. So today, I'm just gonna be seasoning with just some uh, plain seasoning, guys, okay? So I'm gonna start off with this right here, guys. It's a plain seasoning, you wanna come right here? Just uh, black pepper. I would do not equals part garlic, but um, Oh, that's a little bit too much garlic, but okay. Well, a little more garlic than black. So this is where I get my fire started here. Like I have a um, hot rod, so to speak, in here to get my charcoal started. I just put it here for a simple couple minutes and it starts. It gets the fire going pretty good. That's how I get my fire started. And I just let it catch up and when I add wood, once it get caught, and uh, that's how we're gonna roll today, guys. We're rolling with some oak and hickory. So I'll be back when I throw everything on the grill. Is the beef ribs there, they've been smoking. Direct heat for about an uh, hour and a half. So I'm gonna, Take them off here and I'm gonna put them in pans and we're gonna let them go in the pans, okay? They smell so good. So that's what we're gonna do, okay? So I want you to come look at the other things, okay? So come over here, uh, camera person, camera daughter, <laughs> excuse me. That's what I'm looking like, guys, right there. Okay, and I got the fire going pretty strong, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, get this fire to calm down. I'm just gonna I'm gonna uh, hit it with some of my mop. And I'm gonna uh, close the grill up. So that's what we look like right there. I'm just going ahead and hit it with a little bit more mop. So, yeah. 
I'm doing old school guys today. Make my own mop. Look at that chicken, guys. I'm telling you, this is this is awesome flavor right here. Just just awesome. So uh, go ahead, keep the meat on the uh, keep the camera on the chicken. I'm gonna push that back in. And close it down. For um, while, while I'm closing it down, what I like doing is just let it close down and the fire just go right out. And it, you got no, you got good heat. It, it's kind of indirect right now. So uh, this is TNT barbecue. I just want to show you how the ribs are looking. Look at that bend, guys. That, that them are good looking ribs. No wrap, no foil. So let's do a let's do a cut and cut taste right here. So. Um, I'm just gonna get my uh, hatchet here, uh, cleaver, meat cleaver. I'm gonna cut right here. I'm gonna cut here. I'm gonna see how the rib turned out, okay? Got a nice smoke ring on it, juicy, moist. So let's just see how tender it is. Let me get a bite. Mmm. Perfect bite, smoke, tender. That's pretty good, guys. So, um, yeah, let this rib get an A OK for me. See that, guys? No, no foil. I'm just straight up cooking. So, um, this is TNT Barbecue. We're gonna grab a piece of chicken. I just took the chicken off the grill. Here's the chicken right here. So, what we're gonna do with the chicken, we're just gonna turn. That's what I'm talking about, guys. That's good chicken right there. When you put a bone at chicken like that, guys, that's great chicken right there. So, that, to me, that's perfect. That's what you wanna have, guys. So, I'm gonna finish up these beef ribs, and, um. I just want y'all to see how the how the smoker running. So I'm gonna finish up these beef ribs, guys. This is TNT Barbecue. God bless you. God bless America. We out of here. Thank you. This is these are these are cooked dynamite, guys. Okay. I just want you to show you how tender they are. Look how tender the, the bone come off of them. Wow, look at that. That's tender beef ribs. That's juicy. That's moist. They just fall apart, guys. And, um, yep. Them are the beef ribs that TNT laying down on the smoker. It's still smoking. All I gotta do is push the rack in, cut it down. You know, like I say, it's not the pit, it's the pit master. This is the second time I cooked on this barbecue grill, and I think this is a success. I did beef, chicken, and ribs. So, I believe. I'm ready. I did beef ribs, pork ribs, and chicken. I think I could conquer brisket and pork butt probably in another couple weeks on this grill. So, uh, comment, <clears throat> subscribe, and uh, God bless you and God bless America. This is TNT Barbecue with a finished product. I just want y'all to see that, guys. That, I mean, that is an awesome looking beef ribs. These are Look at the smoke ring. Look how it tear apart. Yeah, look at that smoke ring on the beef ribs. Look at that. And look how it tear apart, guys. It has a little texture. You know, it's not coming off the bone, but man, look at the bark. Look at the bark. And look how that comes off the bone. I'm telling you, these are some of the best beef ribs I've cooked. Light pepper and salt and garlic. SPG. So, there you go, guys. SPG everything, salt, pepper, and garlic, and you have your great outcome. I want to say God bless you and God bless America again. We out of here.